Knee Osteoarthritis The knee is the largest and strongest joint in your body. It is made up of the lower end of the femur, thigh bone, the upper end of the tibia, shin bone, and the patella, kneecap. The knee joint is surrounded by a thin lining called the synovial membrane. This membrane releases a fluid that lubricates the cartilage and reduces friction. The ends of the three bones that form the knee joint are covered with articular cartilage, a smooth slippery substance that protects and cushions the bones as you bend and straighten your knee. Osteoarthritis of the knee affects the bones, cartilage, and synovium. Osteoarthritis usually develops slowly and the pain it causes worsens over years. Osteoarthritis is divided into several stages. In stage 1, very minor tears and degenerative changes will develop in the articular cotyledges. At this stage it is unlikely you will feel pain. In stage 2, will reveal bone spur growth, but the cartilage is usually still at a healthy size. In other words, the space between the bones is normal, and the bones aren't rubbing or scraping one another. Synovial fluid is also typically still present at sufficient levels for normal joint motion. This is the stage where you may first begin experiencing symptoms. In stage 3, the cartilage between bones shows obvious damage, and the space between the bones begins to narrow. Wherein the bones develop spurs at the joints as it becomes rougher. In this stage, there is obvious joint inflammation which makes symptoms worse. In stage 4, more spurs are developed. The cartilage is almost completely gone. The joint space between bones is dramatically reduced. In this advanced stage of the disease the synovial fluid is decreased dramatically, and it no longer helps reduce the friction among the bones of a joint resulting in excruciating pain. Causes and Risk Factors No one knows the exact cause. Several risk factors increase the likelihood of developing knee arthritis. The likelihood of developing knee arthritis increases with age. Over time, the knee's cartilage becomes weaker and less flexible. Knee osteoarthritis mainly affects people over the age of 45. Women are more commonly affected than men. People with certain occupations that include a lot of activity that can stress the joint, such as kneeling, squatting, or lifting heavy weights are more likely to develop osteoarthritis. A person who is obese is more likely to develop knee osteoarthritis. Knee is weight-bearing joint, and weight increases pressure on the knees. Every kilogram of weight you gain adds 2 kilograms of extra weight on your knees. A fractures that cross a joint surface, meniscal tears and ligament injuries may lead to arthritis years after the injury. The likelihood of a person developing knee osteoarthritis is influenced by genetics. A woman whose mother has knee osteoarthritis is more likely to develop the condition than another woman. Limb malalignment and congenital conditions can also increase the risk of developing osteoarthritis of the knee. Episodes of gout or septic arthritis can eventually lead to degeneration of the joint. People with rheumatoid arthritis are also more likely to develop osteoarthritis. Symptoms The most commonly symptom is pain. The pain may come and go or there may be a chronic low level of pain with intermittent flare-ups of more intense pain. The pain usually gets worse with certain activities that place additional strain on the joint, such as when squatting or walking upstairs, and be lessened with rest. Swelling because of irritation when the cartilage wears away and the bones rub together. Stiffness in the knee, especially in the morning or when you have been sitting for a while. 
Moderate to advanced knee osteoarthritis may make it difficult to completely bend or straighten the knee. Making it difficult to get in and out of chairs, use the stairs, or walk. Diagnosis A doctor will ask you when the symptoms began, what makes the pain better or worse, and how symptoms affect lifestyle. Your reported history is important for diagnosis and treatment. Your doctor will physically examine the your knee, noting any signs of swelling, pain points, stiffness and range of motion. He will order X-ray and standing for both knees. X-rays can show if there is a loss of joint space between the femur and tibia indicating a loss of cartilage in the knee. An X-ray can also show bone spurs and subchondral bone sclerosis. In fact, some people may have X-rays that show significant signs of knee osteoarthritis and experience no pain, while others may have X-rays that show few signs of knee osteoarthritis and have significant pain. Treatment there is no cure for arthritis appropriate treatment can dramatically slow or eliminate the progression of the disease. The first line treatment for all patients includes patient education and drug therapy alongside physiotherapy. Weight loss is valuable in all stages of knee osteoarthritis. Losing even a small amount of weight can significantly decrease knee pain from osteoarthritis. Some changes in your daily life can protect your knee joint and slow the progress of arthritis. Minimize activities that aggravate the condition, such as climbing stairs. Pray on chair if you are Muslim. Avoid kneeling, squatting or sitting on ground. Walking is good for you in case you experience knee osteoarthritis. Anti-inflammatory drugs, NSAIDs, can help to ease pain and stiffness and improve your quality of life. But don't take them for too long because of the risk of side effects. Your doctor will usually prescribe another medicine to take alongside, NSAIDs, tablets to protect your stomach. Topical pain relievers can be applied directly onto the skin over the knee. Glucosamine and chondroitin sulfate, substances found naturally in joint cartilage, can be taken as dietary supplements. There is no evidence to support the use of glucosamine and chondroitin sulfate to decrease or reverse the progression of arthritis, but it may relieve pain as patient reports. Physiotherapy. Strong pliable muscles can better support the knee joint, resulting in less pressure on the damaged cartilage and bone. So the goals of physiotherapy include strengthening the muscles surrounding the knee and stretching tight and inflexible muscles. When first line treatments do not adequately relieve knee arthritis pain, a doctor may suggest intra-articular injections. Hyaluronic acid injections provide lubricating fluid to the knee joint and can reduce pain and may help increase the natural production of hyaluronic acid in the joint. Three to five or seven injections of hyaluronic acid, one injection per week. Pain relief typically lasts six months. Platelet-rich therapy, PRP, uses a component of your own blood, platelets, that have been separated from your blood, concentrated, and injected into your knee. The platelets contain growth factors thought to be helpful in reducing the symptoms of inflammation and support the restoration of injured tissue. Stem cells can also be taken from your own body from bone marrow or fat and injected into your knee. Since they are basic cells, they may have potential to grow into new tissue and thus heal damaged joint surfaces. Stem cell therapy may be ineffective if a person's body mass index is over 35. Cortisone injections may contribute to cartilage loss in the knee, so it can be used as the last line of treatment only when the decision of surgery is taken. The goal of cortisone injections is to reduce inflammation and pain till the surgery is done. 
The effects of a corticosteroid injection may wear off in about two or three months. If joint osteoarthritis is severe causes severe pain or has a significant impact on your daily life, and other treatments do not succeed, your doctor may suggest you have surgery. We will talk about surgical treatment options and recovery and rehabilitation after surgery in next video.